three bucks piece. Ten dollars. Everybody's buying. At the corner of 12th and Jackson, there's a thriving black market of stolen goods being sold for pennies on the dollar. A Fifteen dollar piece of crack. On the other side, addicts use and trade hardcore drugs in plain sight. And just down the block on King Street, multiple infernos have raged out of control at this massive homeless encampment right underneath a state highway. And look at this man with a needle in his arm, setting up for his next fix, doing it right in front of students as they head home from school. This free-for-all culture of illicit activity happens on the regular in the heart of Seattle's Chinatown International District. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but I see a lot of people who are addicted to a lot of things. Problem is, Summit Sierra High School is caught in the middle of this unwanted action. Listen to what this student has to say. It's scary. It's scary? Along with math and science, the students at this charter school are also learning how to avoid fentanyl fumes. You guys doing drugs right there. You guys have to see this every day. As they walk through a gauntlet of users. I just try not to look at them. My is this. Encountering addicts who feel entitled. The high school kids right here. I don't care for, I didn't put the high school there. Or show total disregard for anyone's well-being. Bye. There's a school right across the street. And you're doing blues here. Come on. That school literally just put their sign up. That was not obvious that that was a school a week ago. You could double check. Goodbye. Like I said, it's a mess out here. Even though more police officers are patrolling the area, it's still not enough to make a lasting difference. Well, what can the high school kids do? That's why Zuri Aguayo says students at Summit Sierra are being advised to walk in groups to stay safe. For a basketball team, cheerleader team, um, they have to have adults all the time walking with them. Making matters worse, violent crime in Seattle hit a 15-year high last year. And the International District had the most shootings and shots fired calls in the city. This historic part of our greater downtown region should be a safe. In his State of the City address this week, Mayor Bruce Harrell acknowledged the ongoing problems in the CID, but nothing about helping the school. Very frustrating, especially like I said for the kids. I've reached out numerous times to the mayor and council member Tammy Morales about their responsibility in addressing these hot spots, but still no response. And because the encampment is on Washington State Department of Transportation property, I've also tried to get answers from washed out officials and Governor Jay Inslee. We're trying to do everything we can as fast as we humanly can. But nothing from them either. What would you like to say to the governor or the Washington State Department of Transportation? Uh, it shouldn't be up to us. That's why students and school administrators are now realizing they're on their own. Like literally all those people are doing drugs. <laughs> Parents like Kate Plotz and her daughter Ella have been sounding the alarm for months. It's problematic. It's Kids should not think it's normal. But say elected officials are not responding to their pleas for help. Honestly, like we're very desensitized to it. I am. That's why they're taking matters into their own hands. You can see all the leaders that we picked up today. Some at Sierra parents, staff and students are volunteering to help clean up the area. Should we get that trash? Since they're tired of waiting for others to take action. Kids should not grow up on having to step over people who are passed out. So far on this test. It's 15 bucks, huh? Yeah. The plot says the city and state get a failing grade. What are we going to do? Just sit and watch?